Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Lord of the Rings Online on the legendary server. We are here at Ziggeland or Ziggeland. I I always say Ziggeland. I'm gonna keep saying that, even if it's wrong. Uh we are here. We have a quest up here, I think. There's a guy we need to talk to of great aid, Tarot, uh Tiro, whatever. Uh, and then we have a bunch of quests to pick up from these guys, and obviously as well we have our tasks. Uh, to potentially give in, we have currently 50 pure black furs and 43 extras, 23 black skins. So very, very easy to complete that today without much issue. But before we get into that, we do have our hobby gift of the day. Let's have a little look at what it's going to be and then get straight into today's episode. A rejuvenation potion. I mean, it's not going to use an inventory slot at least. That's good. Uh, so somewhat useful for us. So... I don't remember if I have to just give in this quest to finish. Yes, I do. And he's going to give me something that I can't wear just generally, but we'll hold on to that. And he doesn't have another quest for us. I thought he had another option, but I guess not. Uh, so we also have the Longest Fangs. That's another quest for Nico. We definitely want to get that done because we finally want to get Grudgingly Earned done. I find it weird that we've got a level 46 quest to complete a level 45, but uh, that's fine. And I'm just going to pick up a few of these. Now, whether or not we complete them today is completely still to be seen, but I just want to get them in the tracker just so we can get them done if we uh, need to. And then we'll have a quick look at what everything is, see if we want to do a certain... Uh, if there's any easy way of doing it. Great Winter Worms, and I think I have to kill some of them anyway. No, that was in there. Okay, so they're all in a relatively small area. Um... But again, I want to get Longest Fangs done first. Now, I don't know. Ah, that's a bit awkward. Now, this was this where we found that other guy? I'm just trying to think if we can do some of these first and then complete that. Just because these are so, like, around us. So if we take Longest Fangs off and have a look at these again. Um, we have one, two, three, four, five, six quests that are all in relatively the same area. So this one is, uh, I think we have to go into this cave that was directly ahead of us, if I remember correctly. Uh, but we can even collect it from these. We collect my marbles. Uh, just beasts in general. Okay. Uh, you guys don't have anything for me to do except potentially give me the book pages, which is fine. Uh, bears are going to be stuff. Uh, I don't know if the... Is it Pico? Pico? I don't know. Uh, they might have the marbles as well. So considering we have to kill 15 of them anyway, maybe that's the best way of doing it. Even if they are going to be a bit more powerful. Now we have to also apparently kill 20 elk. That's fine. And then the winter worms, there's three of those. I'm not necessarily sure where they're going to be. Uh, where is it? Not in hot water. So that's going to be up there as well. Okay. So I think we might hold off the longest fangs, in fact. If we can get a bunch of quests done here today and maybe even level up to 47 from here. And then maybe at 47, we might even want to maybe return back to the epic quest. I actually can't remember where the last epic quest was. So I'll have to have a look, a little look back either on my quest log and go on the wiki and see where the next quest is. Or just go back in the videos and have a look. These guys kick up so much like powder. I assume it's just snow. And like dust and debris. Oh yeah, snow blind, so it is a it's a like status effect that they're giving me. Fair enough. Just lowers my accuracy, is it? Or gives me a potential to miss. You are really annoying. Just stop running away from me. These guys are pretty decent for getting these um, rep items, even if they are a little bit small. They are obviously also potentially dropping marbles, so it looks like they're not doing a very good job at it, but that's fine. We're also getting a ton of black furs and black skins, so that's going to help us with the tasks. So in theory, if we were to complete these five, six, we can complete like 11 quests today, including tasks, which is pretty good. Um, I'm going to stay away from this guy. I'm just going to consume some food. Um... So we want to get this superior thing, so we'll also check on this superior Hobbiton oatmeal, just to get as what as much as we can, just because, obviously the other food, the oatmeal, is, is great because of, obviously, 
not dying uh, and getting the income at morale regen, but... Uh, these level 40. I need to look at what the next one is. I think it might be level 50. I think that's how it used to be. Um, it used to just, I think, be 10 level increments. But obviously now, with, like, higher levels on the actual, like, main servers, uh, that's, like, you got one at 100, and then one at 1 at 15, and then one at 1 at 116, and it's a little bit weirder with the way it's done, so... I will have to have a look into it and we'll see if it is maybe level 45 or I can make something for 45. We'll see if we can do that. If not, we'll uh, just wait till 50. I'll see if I can get them done now because I need to, you know, it's, if I don't do them now, I'll probably forget generally. So if I do them now, then at least I've got them ready for, uh, well, three levels time, hopefully by the end of this episode. And as I said, we'll... Uh, We'll maybe do one more episode after this, trying to feed, uh, complete grudgingly earned, potentially, and then we'll, um, if we don't get around to it today, we might just do a longer episode for today and get it done. But, um, oh, I am totally going to uh, really die here. Just because this guy is right in the back. And, yeah, we shouldn't go against three enemies at once. Very bad idea. <laughs> Especially ones that are a higher level than us. Right, can you just... Thank you. We'll take a little bit of a breather for a second. And... See where we can, uh, just... Have a little bit of a calming moment. We're up to eight, uh, marbles, which is fine. We need to kill five more of these guys. And then we'll have to go out and kill some more elk. Uh, hopefully by that time we've done all the marbles, then we can kill the winter worms, and then we got to pick up, uh... There was another one. Dwarf picks. Yeah, okay, that's at the top, yeah. Let's get out in the graveyard. Uh, dwarf picks. Um... Can we see where that is now? Uh, it's scattering the graveyard. So that's down there, which we need to go through to get to here, I think. And there's also a... Okay, I don't know what that quest rings signify obviously a specific enemy but we won't worry about that hopefully by the end of this we've got our marbles done and then we just have to give that back in ideally oh wow you are actually a boss type enemy I didn't realize that I should not have attacked you I think I'll be able to survive I'm just a little concerned there we are we should have mainly focused on the others that were this way, I think. I think a group this way. Yeah. Because there's two more there, so that puts us to 12, 13, 14. And I'm sure by the time we leave here, there'll be another respawned. So we can just have a wait out by the entrance. Uh, we're up to 40 of those now. So if unlikely to happen, but if we are quite a bit behind on XP, uh, we can go and do the uh, skin tasks, because they do give us more XP, uh, even just by a little bit, but I'm pretty sure if we complete six quests, we'll be well into uh, leveling up. Right, so we'll make our way out now. Just because otherwise I feel like I'm going to get ambushed. On the way out. Like that. Should I just kill these two? And then we can just... Yeah, I'll kill these two and then we can just... Um, run out, basically. And hopefully these drop marbles, because there's one dropped marbles. Hopefully this one does, and then we can just leave and be done. Nope, he didn't. We should be able to do Just run out now. And then just go up, get them from the elks. Hopefully from an elk. We can just probably kill this one and hopefully get a drop. And I 
think then we'll be all right. I feel like these are more awkward to kill than those things. Right, yeah, so we can get marbles, elk conches. Nope, we didn't get one, but we've still got to kill a ton more of them. So we can kill these. Uh, we'll head over to this graveyard area that's supposedly going to have uh, the pickaxes in it. And then we'll have a look at where this mammoth thing is. It's just down south from here. Which, I think we're going that way anyway, pretty much. So we can do that on the way up. I don't think... Yeah, it was a mammoth that was speared. It doesn't mean the mammoth, mammoth's been killed. So we'll just have to probably defeat that. Okay, so that, luckily, was just a completed quest now. So we should only have four more to go. And I think ten minutes in and we've got two quests done. That's pretty good. Obviously with the task as well, we're already ready to uh, just instantly complete that. Uh, the task wise, so that's seven. These are doing pretty good, giving us a bunch of furs and skins, so again, it's a case of we're going to be um, ready for next episode and probably the episode after that already, because this episode, next episode, and we're pretty much halfway there for the episode after that. So that's good. Oh, that's... A mammoth, but not the mammoth I'm after. Thank God. But getting close to it. So we'll head down first, then up, then through there. Kill these winter worms if we can. Uh, I'm a little worried about them considering they are level 47 quests. But we completely lost my marbles and beastly things. Level 47, so I think we'll be alright. Oh, I'm going to have to kill you now, aren't I? You're just going to be awkward and you don't even drop anything good. Except task items, potentially. Oh, and then you had to walk in between the... What's that? A dwarf pick. Okay. So we're really, really close to these dwarf picks. So we might as well do them now, I guess. Even if it means we have to backtrack a little bit, annoyingly, but... Actually, shouldn't be too bad, looking at it. Just have to be wary. Oh. Did you aggro because I was close, or did you aggro because I picked up the pickaxe? It's weird going against a humanoid enemy after this long. I guess those, um, Waroden, or however you say it, are technically humanoid. But we haven't killed any down hand. They're going to give us... Yeah, Broken Greatsword and a Dower Hand Crest, which gives us Thorin's Hall Rep, which is decent. But, um, not really what we're after. We're probably going to have to just be wary of these bears and mammoth and stuff. I think the mammoth should only threaten to attack, not actually attack. Except this one. I think these guys should just... Yeah, so he's aggroing because I picked it up. That's fine. Or it's just coincidence, but everywhere here has one hidden, and then when you go close, you do it. So if technically, I guess, if I came here later, outside of the quest, they might spawn if I come around here. Oh, a first stage relic. 700 rep for Thorin's Hall. Those are always good to have. They're actually a bit awkward to get. Like, Thorin's Hall rep, quest-wise, you can get a lot, or a decent amount, but it's really quite difficult to get the... Um, or I always found it difficult. I don't know if it is difficult now. I always found it difficult to do the um, rep for it with items because uh, there's an area in Thorin's Hall, Sarno, that's it, this area right here, that have a lot of dower hand in it and they drop rep items, but they're quite high level, I think. And also you have to be level 35 to use these rep items. Um, obviously you didn't used to be, able, or used to have to, um, have a minimum level. It used to just be any level. But then, from what I understand, it got changed because of, like, at the time, turbine point farming, but, uh, Lutra point farming. Because you could just, like, get 141 Cardolan trinkets very easily, uh, and then just, you know, make a new character, get them out of the introduction, 
and then that's 50 um, 50 lottery points to you with not a whole lot of work and then you can even get a few from just doing a quick actual run of deeds so how many are we on? how many do we need? that's a bigger question so five, six, seven. I'm thinking it'll mainly be up here. So it might even be a case of killing these, um, these things. If we can make it there, I don't remember how you get there. I don't know if you can get it through here. This goes to like a um, a dungeon in here. But we'll have to find a way. I think I actually can't remember. I think you must have to go all the way around. I'm not sure. I'm sure we'll find out, obviously, but... So this puts us up to seven. Are there any more up here? Eight. All right. Any more? No, eight. I don't know if there'll be any in here. That's my issue. I don't think there will, because it just seems like there isn't a quest ring, which otherwise would signify that. So there'll just be some more out on there, where the bears, mammoth, and... Uh, other things are elk, I guess, but they're not going to attack us. But we're going to attack them. It's the only difference. Right. So two more to go. That's fine. We're getting a decent amount of rep items, both for here and Thorin's Hall from this, so that's good. Uh, some vendor trash, which are probably actually going to be vendor trash, because it's not really too useful to us right now. I mean, it's good, it's just we have a better and easier to obtain alternative. Right, we're going to do a little run around, pressing escape wherever we can. Just to find these dwarf picks. Ah, oh, there's the two I need. Perfect. And we're doing this without really leaving the side of Ziggland. So, we're actually alright. Like, there's not a lot of back and forth travel until we have to go find this mammoth and then just kill the rest of these elk, which even just standing around here might be fine. Or just like not getting on a horse and killing in between, like all the ones we see should be fine. So, yeah, we should be all right. I think we'll come out of this perfectly fine without having to run around the area too much. Like, we, we shouldn't have to run over here, I hope, at least. So, kill you. That's those dwarf picks done. And then keep an eye out for these guys. If we have to make a diversion for it, I think it's worth it. Uh, as long as we're not getting in the way of this thing, and then I think we're good. I wonder if I can just, um, I wonder. Can I just aggro you? I can, good. I think if I were to aggro one of these, it'll aggro that. But I think here it should be fine. Oh, we got some, uh, might clothing. It's 93 might. Not much for an increase for two levels from now. And, well, actually, we got Stonecutter's Arms a long time ago. It is light armor, which is interesting to see that we're getting might light armor. But I'll actually have a look at it in here. Uh, light armor, level 49. So again, probably we'll find something better quest-wise in between now and then. Though our stuff currently is light armor. Um, only 8 increase in might, we lose to fate. So I don't really think that's worth it for us. Um, I think once we get past level 50, I think I've said this before, I think... Once we get past level 50, the heavy armor should be, like, turn into our actual best stuff. Because right now it's kind of all over the place, like, light armor giving you might instead of will. Um, and then heavy armor giving you will, for some reason. So, yeah, I think when we get to, like, past level 50, that kind of all straightens itself out. And we'll have... Proper, oh, we found a mammoth corpse for the mammoth that we need. And the bears are eating it, so we'll have to kill the bears. Hopefully just the two of them, and this one won't join in. 
And then, I don't know what it's going to want us to do with that quest, but we'll see. We might even be able to get in there without aggroing any, but knowing how these quests are, I think that's very unlikely. Okay, yep. Yeah. So I'm going to drag you guys a bit back so this other Tundra Bear doesn't kill us. And then just go AoE on you. Oh, I... And because I AoE'd, I aggroed the Elk, which is fine because we need to kill the Elk anyway. So not a huge deal for us. Just more pure black furs for us, that's all. Cool, okay. So now we just need to kill some more elk, which we can just do a little run around and kill a bunch of. And then uh, to find, the, find these great winter worms. In fact, whilst we're here, let's have a little look. I think there's a second way you can get out of Ziggland. I don't know if I have to, or no, you go around, I think. Cause that's where that hot spring is, isn't it? I think what I'll do is I'll uh, aggro you while I'm doing that. Um, yeah, Great Winter Worms have been interrupting the dwarves' efforts to get the hot water from the springs nearby. And if I remember correctly, that's exactly where I think it is. So, I think I... Well, I know where it is. It's how I get there that's my, uh, my worry. Right, can I angry just you again? Yes, I can. Perfect. This area is really good for these uh, elk. We only need to kill seven more. So technically we only need to kill ten more enemies. And then we've done <laughs> quests for all day. And I've got I picked up three still uh travel still bound loot boxes today. That is a decent chunk. Now I don't want to get near these because I definitely think they're gonna aggro. And another good thing we're getting from these is the exceptional hides. So we don't need an amazing amount because all we have to do is complete proficiency in order to crit. We don't need to complete mastery in order to be crit, uh, critting stuff. And there's no other than being able to master the next tier. There is no actual benefit to mastering the original tier. Um, so for the moment we will be able to just go with the exceptional high tier, get it to proficiency slash beginning mastery, then crit stuff, make some decent stuff, then send it to us, which will then hopefully make it so we'll kill stuff quicker to get the exceptional hides, which means we can then master it and then get ready to do proficiency on the next tier when we get to that tier of enemy. So it's a nice little cycle of things that should all work out. Right, so one, two more, so then I should be on 18. And then I am completely lost. It's really, really dark suddenly. I mean, it's technically late watches. Right, you'll put me on 18. I just wish the snow wasn't here because I feel like it's going to ruin the, uh, the, you know, snow generally ruins, like, the, uh, rendering and stuff. Makes it a bit more pixelated. Right, so this puts us on 18, 19, and then if we just find one more when we're there, that puts us to 20. That quest is then completed, and then we can just focus solely on these great worms. Head back, complete those six, then go given our tasks, and then we've got an... Uh, actually, considering the amount of time, and there's our 20th over there, considering the time of the episode, we have done amazing for today. I really like... Normally we have the issue of you complete one quest, you get another quest. You then complete that quest, you get another quest. With this one, which, you know, that slows things down. But this one, we've just gotten six quests out of the gate just to do. And then, ideally, we can get six more quests afterwards. Ideally. Um, whether or not that does happen remains to be seen. Some of these might just be one quest chains, um, but I'm sure we'll get a couple more quests out of this. But 
I think with us most likely getting to level 30, uh, 47, sorry, today, I think it might be worth, just after today, uh, going back and maybe doing the epic quests again for a little bit, for a couple of quests or levels, and then we'll have to return back here if we need to do any more, or I don't know what the next, or well, I mean, according to the deed log, the next area is uh, Origian, which uh, we'll be doing just before um, Moria, which will then, I'm going completely the wrong way, uh, which we'll do just before Moria, which is when we get our legendary item, which is when things really, really kick off, which will be amazing. Uh, I'm very looking forward to that. Because um, it gets you a chance to, like, actually kind of start new, rather than that already being, like, full tier, level 100 things all done and ready. I mean, the premise of that will be still be the same. It's not like they're different, but I think it's a bit of a nicer thing rather than you feel like you're outclassed by tons of levels already. And it'll be kind of nice having the upgrade path now, because, you know, for on Arkenstone, that is just a levitating rock. Uh, on Arkenstone, you just have, you know, I've just got a level 100 legendary item in every slot. And there's no upgrade from there. So it's kind of a bit meh. Whereas if we're starting at level 50, then we're eventually going to get to 51, 52, 53. Do I? Okay. Just these are the great winter worms I'm looking for, not the regular ones. Let's have a look at the map. They're over this way. Great winter worm, there we are. If we can just aggro the one, it's perfect. Uh, I think if we then have, at least we know what they look like now as well, they kind of got a bit more fur to them. Or like a little pattern on them. Um, if we get more in, I think we're gonna struggle a little bit. Even with the AoE, but I think we should be Alright, I thought I saw another one then, but I didn't, and the camera's going weird because this thing's in the way. I don't like it. One good thing is we get this nice invigorating warmth, uh, so it temporarily shields us from any of the bad effects from the whole thing. Ooh, they are scary. Great Winter Worm, good. That's alright. And we actually got a Clouded Worm Eye, which is Hunters and Minstrels. Uh, that's a token, uh, not token, a, uh, it's a class item for, like, later on quests. You can buy them from just marks, uh, or the skirmish things, so it's generally alright, but... Yeah, if you can get a bunch of them, then people will buy a few. Probably not in bulk, you probably have to sell them for like, I think it's five for the quest, you probably just sell them for five. Five each and then people will probably buy them, because it's quicker than going out and actually killing them yourself. Though I think all of these drop, like these are 3,000 rather than, what is it, 6,000 I think for the other ones? So, I think all of them drop the uh, cloudy eye sometimes. Oh, it's a great chief. I'm sure that's part of a quest uh, to come later. Right, where's this other great worm? I'm just gonna get out of your way a second. Uh, I think I'm right there. Let's get that so we can AOE for cheaper further. And I think we should be, as I said, done after this, so that should be good. Back to Ziggland. And there we are, so... Back, basically directly south, we can just ride out of here now. And give in six quests, plus the five tasks, eleven quests in. Considering we are only 21k from leveling up, that will be us almost certainly 
to level 47. If we don't get to level 47 within like even three quests, I'd be very surprised. Uh, I am going completely, no, I am going completely the right way. Yeah, there's a little staircase up, isn't there? Oh, no, no, I'm going to come in here and you're going to get attacked by the guards. Or you're not even going to try it. Alright, let's give these in. I have enough inventory space near enough. I'm going to get rid of these. And then we'll use these rep items quickly. And I don't have any other rep items. No, I don't. Good. Let's give in all these. So that's uh, reputation with Thorin's Hall. Now I need to talk to Mika. How can I be of service? Then reclaim Warstang's pouch from a guardian's thief. Well, obviously pick these up, but worry about them next time. At your service. Yeah, Thorin's Hall rep. Take a key from Dalhan within the ancient ice creep mines. Okay. That she completed, and that's us at level 47. It turned out to be four quests, I think. Complete you. Defeat Ring Dagnir. Okay. So, large winter worm. Might be worth it just for the bow. Um, but our current bow has a chance to cause basically bleeding damage, and we get vitality from this though. We lose the reduced range skill induction time, and we gain vitality. We don't really use range skills, so I don't know. We'll pick it up and maybe have a look at it, but I'll have to have a little scout of what level they are and how much morale they have. And defeat the Great Snow Matron. I already did that, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I already did that. That's annoying. Um, Gives us Might and Agility. And Incumbent Morale Regen. Whereas this one gives us Agility, Vitality, Will, Fate. That just gives us everything else. If that was Might, Vitality, I think it would be better. I'll pick it up again, but I don't know if it's particularly worth it. But we have now completed Forkel Pioneer, which is complete 30 quests, which is the final part of that. So we've now completed that one section. Now we need to do the Lost Fellowship. This one. Um, the Guardian, Burglar, Captain, Hunter. We need to have four more. So we've done the Lawmaster, uh, Minstrel, and Champion. And then Slayer Deeds and Exploration Deeds to do. But I think that's going to be it for now. Uh, we'll do all that in the next episode. Before that, actually, we do have our tasks. Let's go do those. So more than likely, we'll just do the pure black furs today, just because otherwise we're going to be very, very full on them. Uh, it's going to take a little bit longer, but that's fine. We'll just have to go back and forth. Uh, in fact, we'll go on our horse. Makes things a little bit quicker. But five of these, we'll see where we can get to. Uh, out of this, who who was it? Who was it that you? Forty, Fottery. So next episode, I don't know if we'll do that or we'll do. Do Mika might know. He's south, so maybe we'll we'll complete that one because that's an easy quest, uh, and then we'll see if we can do. Um, Maybe finish up Nico's quest first. Because I do really need to get that good done. Greetings. I didn't realize Warstang was a burglar, so that's part of the Lost Fellowship, isn't it? Yeah, so we'll actually complete. Uh, we'll only have to do Captain, Hunter, and Guardian to go. And obviously, I'm not going to assume we do the exploration deeds, but we'll get a decent chunk done. Um, and also. We'll probably get Lost Fellowship done eventually, but not probably not straight away, like well, now-ish. Because uh, we'll probably go back to the epic quest for a little bit. Uh, I feel like I'll do Grudgingly End, then go back to the Fellowship quest, or the epic quest rather. Um, and then maybe come back here later. Because eventually we'll come back here for a deeding episode. Eventually. But I think even in the... I haven't done Forest Hill yet. Forest Hill's the next one. What? I was about to say, I, don't, I haven't done the Fellowship. I haven't done anything in Forest Hill, I think, on my main. That's going to be a bit of a worry. <laughs> That's getting close as well. Uh, Pure Black Fair. How many have we done? 
It should be our last one, and then we'll be done. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to do some prepping for that, I think. Maybe I'll do it on my main, uh, my what actual main, want? and see where we get to it. So, 1,099 XP those are giving without bonus XP as well. Uh, task that completed, decompleted, obviously, was that one, which gives us some uh, virtue and lots of points and marks and rep, which is nice. But virtue experience is always great. It gives us that quest, which gives us moats and enchantment when they completed, which is a nice thing because moats and enchantment are a universal you know, currency, so you can get a decent amount of those. But as I said, I'm going to finish for now. That's going to be it. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Next episode, we'll try and do grudgingly earned completed, and that one we'll maybe do Mika might know on the way down, and then we might do that just for those episodes and see where we can like just get that done. Maybe do these just so we can get this burglar one done, and then maybe return to the epic quest after that. So like three episodes from now. Maybe we'll be even level 48 by then. Uh, and then I'm going to look at the... That should put this on level with the quests, which then I think gives us seven levels worth of, uh, you know, time to uh, to be out-leveled and stuff. And I'm also going to look into that new food and new armor. I think it's level 50. Actually, 48, I think, is when the next armor level is. So that should be fine. But that's going to be it. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.